Hey friends, Pastor Bob here, and um, I wanna invite you to come to church. Um, here's what I realized. I realized, man, I, there's some of you I just haven't seen for a long time, and I miss seeing you. Um, and, and that's the nature of the moment that we've been in these past few months. And I wanna invite you, I wanna beckon you, hey, would you consider coming on a Sunday sometime in the next month? Um, let me tell you about two scenarios or stories that I'm aware of in our church. So I know that some of you, there are just really um, health-related reasons why you're not going to show up for a while. I talked to a family who has a, a son with serious asthma, and so they're like, hey, for our son, man, COVID is a serious risk, and we just don't want to take that risk. I, I talked to a woman who uh, has a, a sort of chronic disease and so is immuno, immunocompromised, and she just said, hey, it's just wise for me not to show up in person right now. That makes so much sense to me, and if you're in that category, I totally understand, and I'm sorry that we don't get to see each other, but uh, I want you to know I'm praying for you in the midst of sort of needing to be distant. Uh, I know there's a whole nother pool of you that um, you, you don't have necessarily health reasons why you might be staying away, but just out of prudence or out of sort of a pragmatic concern, you might say, hey, I'm not sure I'm ready to step into gathering yet. Um, but I wanna encourage you and affirm, hey, we've been gathering together um, for over a month now. And we haven't had any issues with anyone coming down with COVID and Man, people are being really faithful to the practices that we put in place. Every Sunday, um, our service is distanced, and we have elders and staff and volunteers seating people in ways that sort of distribute us throughout the room. And that's proven to be a really wise and, and faithful way to go forward that we've been able to do now for over a month. And so what I want to say to you is, hey, if you're one of those people who's just a little hesitant out of safety or out of prudence, I want to invite you. Um, to, to show up um, because I think there is something important about being together physically. Now, I know not every single one of us can be here every week because that would kill our social distancing, but I'm speaking particularly to those of you who just haven't shown up in person yet, and I just want you to hear me inviting you and beckoning you to do that. I'm not uh, mandating that you do that. I can't mandate that you do that, and it, it's up to your conscience. But I do want you to hear that I think when we stay away too long from one another, it does bad things to our souls. And I just, the more people I talk to who are feeling isolated and feeling distant and feeling disconnected, I, here's what I don't want. I don't want our church to get into a place where we're sort of gathering behind a screen and that somehow is taking the place of real Christian community in our lives. Um, and so I wanna urge you to prioritize the physical gathering if you are able to. Uh, and I want you to hear me inviting you. Don't hear me um, critiquing you if you're not coming. Don't hear me saying something I'm not saying. Do hear me inviting you and saying, hey, I'd love to see you face-to-face. Uh, -face. I'd love for you to be here on a Sunday. I'd love to be able to connect with you. And um, I, I just realize our, our church feels disconnected right now. Uh, all of us feel that. And I wanna minimize that as much as I can. Now. Um, you know, everything still remains in flux. Schools are talking about what are we gonna do in the fall. We as a church are talking about how are we gonna enter the fall. And it doesn't look like COVID's going away anytime soon. And I've been telling you that for months now. So this is our new reality. Uh, we're gonna have to engage it heading into the fall. It's gonna affect what we're able to do and how we're able to do things. Um, and that is what it is. So I'll try to keep briefing you occasionally on what our plans are heading into the fall. But here's what I want you to hear. For those of you who are covenanted members, we have a members meeting scheduled in August and that is live. It's a go. We're still going to do it. We're not gonna do food for obvious reasons. And we're gonna do that members meeting in a way that honors social distancing in the room. But man, we feel like it's important to gather the covenant membership uh, twice a year as we always do. And so please have that date on your calendar. You received a postcard early in the year with that date on it. So don't forget that, um, plan on being present. There'll be a process for you to RSVP for that here in the next week or so. And I, I wanna see you there if you're able to be there. So thank you. Uh, I'll look forward to being in the room with you on Sunday as we take a look at Psalm 19 and as we gather to worship the Lord together.